And welcome to our second to last match of today between Power Rangers and Moscow 5. Uh, this is for the Mountain Trail Challenge Group uh, D. If Moscow 5 actually wins this match, they're already through. And if Power Rangers wins this, well, they're already through. But just more honor to the way. And they will have a perfect record going into the next one. And Moretti, what do you think? Power Rangers is going to take this one? Uh, actually, Moscow 5 through if they win this. I mean, if Rise Gaming win their match, then it's going to be a tie between Moscow 5 and Rise. Oh yeah, it is. Then we'll have the tiebreaker. So, if Power Rangers win this, then Moscow 5 is out. So this is... Oh. So... I don't know yes? if... No, the next, then the next match is decided. Oh yeah. Oh my... It's always the decider. Fine, the next Not match will be the decided, guys. Is But for this match, it's still... We'll give you the advantage. Important. It still gives you the advantage, or it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we do know that Power Rangers is through though, so let's see what they'll come up with. And they come up with Gyrocop the Shadow Demon. Gyrocop the being, well, 100% big ban rate this patch. Shadow no. Demon, yes. Really? I, f I believe, no, not patch, sorry, this tournament. I believe we have not seen a game where Gyrocop there was not at least banned or picked. Five seconds I don't think so either. But yeah, game. I think in this tournament it's pretty much been Reserve picked time. or banned. Not patch though. I I I made a mistake. Really? There. I don't think it's <laughs> patch. I was only like, huh? no, that's going to pay. <laughs> Bad dudes banning some yeah. Now. So yeah. What do, what do you think? Well. Actually, because from eBay we got those nice odds: a forty-three percent for Moscow Five and sixty-seven for Power Rangers. So you think? What do you think is? Correct, because well, we know it's under ten percent though. But yeah, um, I'm not sure what that statistics are based off. So I'm just gonna <laughs> say, uh, I'm not even sure. <laughs> You're not even sure. Yeah, I'm gonna say that most uh, that power power ranges will win. Well, I have to stay objective. <laughs> oh, so, you can make a guess. <laughs> team pick. I'm yeah. gonna guess. I mean. Power Rangers might play a little bit or more off guard because they know, wait, we're still we're gonna win this anyway, so let's try something new. But now Moscow 5 have picked Visage and Dra Ranger. That option doesn't become such of a thing they can do anymore because Visage Dra Ranger is a very disgusting combo. Yeah, that is definitely true and Power Range already yeah yeah and I straight up been out the five and so <laughs> just make sure, yeah, you're not going to be able to do much Five else with that combo, please, just, just don't. Thing is though, birds were nerfed, uh, familiars were nerfed, Reserve they time. now take three hits to destroy instead of four, so... Ooh. Yeah, but well, still, they, they first need to hit it. A <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, he's fairly... Dazzle. Not even Dazzle, they're not going to be right-clicking. And Dazzle, uh, yeah, his, his, his attack animation isn't the best, is it? <laughs> Although he's, oh, although he's not used for attack animation, I'm guessing. Oh, well, that's what Dazzle's role is—is is just to keep everyone alive. Yeah, and well, with the Shadow Demon, you actually have a nice, uh, nice bomb going your way. The Shadow Wave and the Illusions, and you do a lot of damage to the person that disruption. Exactly. Was disrupted. And yeah, this main pick is. Um, Five seconds remaining. It's actually pretty good because. Uh, he can hold people in place for Dro to start whacking Reserve on, so time. single target is definitely good. He's also, you know, enfeeble is really good uh, in the late game if you can get it off on like the main carry or something. He instantly does 120 <laughs> damage less and ooh, a puck. They're getting some control on the. Uh, just, and they, I think, I, yeah, <laughs> not much to say really. I, puck is the one of those heroes though, which I really like to watch competitive players play it because. One of those heroes has a really high skill cap. Like, if you think you can play Puck well, chances are you can't. You can't. You've still got to improve on it. And here's a Beastmaster, which we also have seen pretty often. Yeah, he's been uh, picked up fairly often. Yeah, well, he's pretty good actually. Even though Hawk was nerfed slightly, well, not severely, but it was nerfed. And yeah, you could say 6.84b. Yep, 6.84b. You could see it's like this movement speed was reduced, I believe. Five seconds but remaining. it's still a good. It's still it's it's still good. I mean, it's one thousand six hundred sight range unobstructed, so pretty good. But anyway, back to Puck. Um, like I said, really high skill cap. Like you watch S four playing Puck, and it looks absolutely lovely. And to be honest, him playing Puck is like 
a, a ballet dancer doing ballet, like a professional one, it's really good to watch. I don't know, like you just like you're, I, I, I just, you're just an S4 fanboy, aren't you? No, no, seriously. <laughs> no, but let's see. I mean, <laughs> I mean, we'll see who play. I, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, Moscow Five. They're playing with a couple of stand. Hmm. Yeah, but. Ah yes, they're playing with Go Black. Okay. Oh, we all know who Go Black is, don't we? Everybody knows Go Black, man. Yeah. Go Black. Radiant team pick. It's obvious. Let's see. Less picks. Power Ranger get out. Nature's Prophet with the uh, with uh, the Draw Ranger and Visage. Deal with them. And Moscow 5, they get it out to Zeus, so a little bit of nuke damage away, fission, things like that. Uh, good hero to get out there. That means that they're expecting that Moscow 5, that uh, Power Rangers is still going to pick up uh, a middle trainer. 5 is going to pick up. Makes sense. <laughs> what do you think that uh, Moscow 5 will be picking up? Ah, uh, the choice is still relatively open. Um, the sack. well, that answers that question. Dual lanes. Dual lanes, definitely. This Lashrak, though, I mean, we ha I have not seen him yet. This is the first game we have a Lashrak in, I believe. Oh, for the day of the tournament. Yeah, I was there then. What's yeah. I was with Slash and with Dragon Drop. I had a couple of matches with Lashrak. The patch was just out, and at that moment, the hero was just being first picked all the time. And yeah, he fell off because people noticed he still has the weakness of being incredibly squishy. Five seconds remaining. Uh, they do have a good setup though for Lesbra Splitter. Of course, of course. I mean, they have Bane. That, that, that's all you need. <laughs> I think them. I'm wondering if they're maybe do like a weird roaming, like Bane and Lesbra all the time running around Visage in the offlane. Bro and save and just... Yeah, but what, where's the kill potential in Bane the Shrug? They could Nightmare and then split off. Where's the damage in that? Well, if they're roaming and the person on the lane... Oh, yeah, let's, 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 let's... They're roaming, though. How are they going to lane? It's like... They yeah, put they the Dro solo safe lane. They put the Puck solo mid and put the Visage solo off lane. Yeah, and they just start roaming all the time. Annoy everybody. Might work. It's not the strongest way. Won't guard your bro as much. Uh... Which is the problem, you know? It's like, you won't guard the draw, and she just gets blown up by everything, man. Yeah, so the lanes of Moscow 5, they have two up there. What we've come down to then is two chances. Either they're going to roam with the Leshrug and the Bane, or they mean. will... Yeah. I don't see a tri lane there. Unless they would do, to do something really weird and send the Leshrug mid and the Puck on the off lane or something. Yeah, that could be possible. That might, yeah. Because you, what is it? A Lash Rack offlane is terrible. He has way too low HP. Yeah, but up. a Lash Rack mid works, uh, and we know it works, so. Only question is, who will be will he be facing on middle? Yeah, because Power Rangers still need to select the mid. And most of the, like, really strong mids are, that we've seen are, like, Queen of Pain is out, Storm Spirit is out, Deuce is out, so. They pick, and they pick the Evoker, so he's another hero that has an incredibly high skill cap. Yeah, but it's really fun to watch with Shadow Demon. So this is going to be As an well, exhort. Yeah. Shadow Demon plus uh, his master, that's good setup for him. Oh my Even god, yeah, that's huge setup for him. <laughs> Even with the, if you max the rocket, then you get the max turn off. That's uh, pretty good. Be able to hit your uh, strike then. Yeah, but the thing is that Gyro will be paying a carry Gyro. You think that they don't usually max rocket first then? Yeah, not, not really, no. No, they'll, they'll go for Rocket Barrage, so they have more kill potential. Yeah, Rocket Barrage, so... yeah, Flak Cannon. Let's now also see how much the... Uh, the minus what is 4 intelligence will come into play in Gyro. Mm. Yes, the Twitch chat is correct. There are 4 shades of blue. Five seconds remain. Yeah, for uh, Moscow 5, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so this is looking to be an interesting game. Both sides have high skill cap heroes in the Shadow Demon with the Invoker um, and on M5 side with the uh, Leshrac Order with Split Earth, the Visage and the Puck. 
I also so, want to say that Beastmaster to some extent is a high uh, skill gap hero just because you need to be able to micro the boar very well in the beginning. Uh, that is a good point, yeah. Okay, and there you go. Gesture Cat is now also in. Alright then. So, let's go into this game after not having to be able to cast the game for two hours. Yeah, at least we played a match versus Raj, it was fun. It was fun, yeah. We Even lost. We got crushed horribly. <laughs> we got kills, damn it! <laughs> at least we got that. Anyway, you want yeah. to present? Yeah, I'll, I'll take Cheshire Cat first from Power Rangers on the Dire side. He just got off a nice ward. See for the pools and other things. We have Dirty Ra playing the Gyrocopter, we have Sunlight on the Invoker, we have J4 on the Dazzle. And last but not least, we have King R playing the Shadow Demon. And on the offlane puck, that was a good prediction, we have Limbo uh, on the Dro, we have Bignum on the Bane, we have Afterlife on the Visage, we have Go Black, and last but not least, on the Leshrac, we have ZXC. Sure. Oh well, the offlane puck, I thought they were going to put her offlane. Are they still going to put her over? It looks like she's going to be offlane. I'm not exactly sure what they're doing. Because I think Pog is going to be offlane and they're going to put rotating ZXC to. I don't I... think Bignum will be hit up with Row. That, would... that wouldn't work very well versus an Invoker. Oh, it, it, it's fine. At least okay. for the first couple of levels. But... Oh, Let's see, Limbo will try something funky here. Nah, not really. If he does, he will. Yeah, yeah, they do all that. Good game sense there from J4. Gonna do afterlife. He's hanging around in middle. Yeah, it's gonna be big on in middle with the draw. Ah, uh, and yeah, an afterlife supporting him. Maybe dual lane mid. Why not? They, they will annoy the uh, invoker to a fairly big extent. Just nightmare him all the time and uh, enfeeble. There you go. Enfeeble is there. Oh well, yeah, and then he can't really can't do anything with his, uh, <laughs> his so this base is damage is shit. Yeah, he's thirty damage now. It would have even been less if he didn't have he's those three. Tickling after like he's tickling him. Yeah, this is uh, this is fun. <laughs> okay, that that worked out. Um, this besides less rock lane. Let's let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. They don't have the highest skill potential. Oh, well, well, it's soul assumption, but ah, uh, great setup for that. Great uh, that's a first blood. And what? Oh, they just got a first blood on Puck. It's, he Rocket did shoot off his orb. I guess he was too late with getting out. Yeah, disruption into Rocket Barrage. Yeah, that combo is the one we forgot to mention. It is a very strong one as well. I know we mentioned oh. it. Oh. Uh, I thought we only mentioned like Rocket Barrage uh, dis disruption into Sunstrike. That's right. Ooh. It, I think it hit him, but that's complete. Yeah, but that's. It's still a lot of damage and hits a lot of annoyances onto Sunlight, but he still has more XP than Dro does. Well, yeah. Dual aim versus. I guess. <laughs> There's not a lot. <laughs> let's, let's have a look at the last hits quickly. Yeah, of course Dro's leading in that regard. He actually denied many times already. Yeah, that's the same amount of denies as Dro, so not too bad. Leshrock is actually leading on last hits, which is pretty interesting. Oh, he's the one on safe lane. He's not really being contested. They're trying to find Limbo all the time. But yeah. Now what can Limbo do? He's still level one. At least now they're rotating the support out, so he has some space to breathe here. Well, the but problem is he can't walk forward. Is... They don't know where they are, so, so he's, he has still has to look at. And he doesn't have orb. He just bought a TP. I think, boy, yeah. If he tries to TP out and he gets disrupted, it doesn't really matter. Uh, even the disruption is too far away to do anything now. Oh, but now, now, now. Oh, they will try to do it, maybe. There's gonna be oh, such a bell, and. No, the priests are there taking away a lot of the damage. Oh, but. So. Nah. Oh, yeah, there you go, he dies. It matters not to me. What hit him, though? I'm not sure what hit him exactly. Um, did Jaro just get Black an cannon. attack off? Black that cannon. cannon. That cannon did kill him there. Um, yeah, indeed, for the chat, uh, one of the Russian casters has indeed been DDoSed. So yes, we are sorry for you Russian cast for you Russians. Yeah, we actually do have an English caster now. Um I've got the name though. <laughs> he just joined us like today. I believe his name is Ben Zhao. Isn't he Chinese? With English uh, casters. Yeah, he's Chinese. With English casters, remember. <laughs> this said wrong. 
All those delays and stuff, they're all... I mean, but okay. Anyway, back to the game. Um, Hell yeah. Deathrack doing great. 20 less hits. 12 D9 versus the Gyrocopter with 14 less hits and 1 D9. 15 now. Uh, well, that's going up fast. Holy crap. Um, thing is, though, it's like Leshrac can, can really use this last hit because if he gets just any health item, then he's already much more of a threat. Yeah, mate, I think he will go Bloodstone first. That's usually what you do when you're in safe lane. Yeah. And then you just run around, <laughs> killing everyone with your insane amount of damage. Be so annoying. I have a lot of low health heroes. Uh, no st- what? Imbo's stacking for him. Oh, he tries to just get the creep wave. But there you are here, he will try to get the creep wave back. There you go. Nice try, Imbo. And you're still stuck on level 1 as a puck. That is not what you want happening. Yes, your cat is actually already ST. 10 last hits and level uh, 3 or halfway through. Yeah, and he already has his boots, so there you go. Um, <laughs> so he's got more than Puck has in any case. Ah, now Puck is, finally has his face shift, so he can dodge that sun strike if they do attempt. Just just by spamming E, actually. <laughs> yeah, once he gets disrupted, his orb out straight up into face shift, and he has a li little bit more time to stay. So far, he has already died twice, so. So, a, lot of, a bit of a disadvantage. Actually, a, a, a lot of a disadvantage because well, oh, he's actually gonna dead. die three times already. I believe Dirty White just got a solo kill now. Well, that's that's kind of bad action. That's not the thing that you want. I think this is strength coming out there, and oh no, they get. I missed that one. They get uh, Cheshire Cat on the Beast Master on bot. Yeah, split off. I'm guessing it was a setup by Bane who was hanging around on the lane. It's a split off, and just the rest of it just comes pouring out after that. And it's a pretty strong combo, as we know. The nightmare, you know, if we get if it gets if it gets popped by magic, it doesn't actually affect uh, your friendly guys. So there you go. You need to have somebody close to get the nightmare off. And they're actually smoked up here to support King R together with J4. They're maybe looking to contest some. We'll see if they're able to do. That. Well, Massage is around on the lane, so they have to watch out. Although, ah, they can dis ah, disrupt. Oh, there you go, they're there gonna disrupt ZXC. There, where will be the follow up? So, the assumption is there. There's gonna be the slow from Desel as well. ZXC taking a lot of damage, but he's still alive. He's still trying to turn this one around, but he stands in the middle of the Sunstrike here, and he will die, but not without taking at least King R with him to the grave. And now Bane, Actually, he's running that in. Was, that was a positive change for the power ranges in this case. Yeah, because they're behind. After wife, he just casually walks by. He uses his uh, his brain set. Cheshire can take a lot of damage, but he will be able to survive for now. Yep, so... Not so, not so good for a Moscow 5. You have to rotate to in the Bane again, but... Um... And now they lost to Leshrac, which means his Bloodstone is going to be delayed by a bit. But he did take, but they did manage to take the Shadow Demon with him, which arguably isn't the best trade. I mean, you're trading the core, I'm going to guess here, for a support. Uh, not such a good trade. It's not a trade that Moscow 5 won't take, but... It looks like they're actually going to attempt to go in on Dro now. Big the mid. Shadow Demon is inching his way forward. But remember, Dro has a larger night vision, so he can, uh, she can, she can see him before he can see her. And yeah, without at least a cold snap or something. Well, now, now he can see them. That's gonna be yeah. the disruption. There's gonna be the sun strike. And oh, what sun strike is off the mark. Magnum should be able to walk away right now. There you go. He will survive. Yeah, should have wondering where the cold snap was. Uh, yeah, invoke was on cooldown. He actually just invoked cold, cold snap, but. Uh, Able to use it. At least Limbo has a little bit of space right now. Going level four. He's already three deaths behind. At least he's level four. Seven minutes into the game. And the problem is though that uh, Gyrocopter is um, level seven, so he can really easily just kill Puck if he if he has some setup. Yeah, but if Puck plays as well now, he sh I mean, he now has uh, level 2 orb, waiting rift, phase shift. Yeah, but I mean, it's like still the same as before. 
Dyer's bottom tower is under yeah, but Why is this so the ports aren't there yet. J4 is mostly hanging around the middle to help out sunlight if uh, there. The middle so far, sunlight has been crushing this lane only. Oh yeah. Oh no, dude. Imbo again. Yeah, what did I tell you? <laughs> yeah. I should know it. When, when the lane is pushed so far, I should know it. Should be at uh, or something. Maybe they should rotate him around like middle or just somewhere yeah, else. But then what? Then, we're gonna then he gets off. killed by Invoker, yeah. Just moving around. Imbo just needs to get his level 6 and then try to go and get. Uh, they need to, and, the, uh, and even then, he needs to do it with the, his team because he's unable to do much at all. Look, it's like he's being zoned by a gyrocopter who's yeah three levels ahead of him, and it's like, yeah, what what, what can I do? What can I? Uh, I can't do anything because I'm solo level. That uh, he could just completely wreck me solo if he wanted to. I actually tried to get a killer here on bottom with that XC. After life, but they were able to disrupt uh, Fisher Cat. Yeah, so, let's quickly check net worth. Um, oh, the Aurora is there on the afterlife. They're gonna go for him, and he's just gonna die here. And completely melts away. That exceeds. Uh, um, what was it? Yeah, that exceeds point booster was almost denied there. Ah, once again. I should just keep my eye on Limbo. I've, he has out of the seven kills for PR, he has been five of them. Uh, looks like Invoker was almost, yeah, but Ice Wall, you know. It's a very good slow. It's hard to get through. Definitely. And uh, level three Quas, I believe. Yeah, the movement so is 60%, so that's huge. You're yeah, not gonna get through there, so you might as well give up and it. Limbo, he's now. Oh, the creep wave away from level 6. Just has to zap that XP. He just... He can finally stay alive. Will he get his last hit here? There you go. And then he can finally, like, try and get some kills. Like, at least on the supports. But the problem is, like, once again... You, you rely on Puck to be slightly over-leveled ahead of everyone else. That's why you send him mid. So that, you know, the people can't do anything and your nukes hit hard. Problem is now he's not over leveled. He on par on levels, and that's not what you want. Really? Level six. He's fifth up on hero level. He's sixth down on hero level li the list. So, question is, when will he also be able to get his uh, his blink? Oh yeah, that's that's good. And, and, and another thing is, Jayhawk has five kills, which means he's basically getting fed. Oh no, big num, he's getting a roar. There is gonna be the sunstrike on the mark as well, and this is gonna be a dead big num sunlight picking up this kill. And there you see it. The setup from the Beastmaster into the Sunstrike is Devastating. Devastating. And not only that, it's like you the, the Beastmaster still has damage with his wild axes. Uh of course if Invoker is anywhere near he can just keep oh, hitting the oh, He's just jumping after life. He is gonna use his uh his nightmare on himself, but it won't be enough and he will die here as well. Alright, for ZXC is coming in, they're trying to turn this one around! But uh, not before uh, the Bane is gonna die, but at least they get two kills in return, double kill going way of ZXC. And Limbo actually <laughs> uses that opportunity to pick up a few much leaded levels. He's now level 8, thanks to that. That's something he needed. Also, a little bit of gold going his way, not too much. Uh, this is actually going to accelerate his blink yeah, back to well. before 20 minutes, probably. Yeah, unless if he dies another four times, so... <laughs> oh sh shots fired. <laughs> hey, we never know, we never know. He might also just get it in with like, in the next two minutes. Get a couple kills. Oh shit. Shit? Hang on a sec. Oh no, router problems? No, no, it's... Which chat actually. Uh... Okay, I think I'm gonna have to turn on mod. I think I'm gonna have to turn on slow mode. Green dude's top thing is about to get knocked over. Uh... There we go. Okay. Slow mode has not been turned on. What the hell? I don't even know what it is. And ah, there you they go. Take an easy rush. Yeah, DD on big num. But he will be raw oh, now. Yeah, he does still have his DD, but he will die for this. There you go. Yes, the Aegis though. So they might try to turn this one around again. Or will they just leave big num here to die? For now it seems like that. ZXC is the only one walking back. Big is dead before they actually help him out. 
They aren't able to get at least Cheshire get back. It's just a 1 for 0 try plus the Aegis. Yikes, not too good. I mean, they took Rosh, which is a nice XP boost and a nice gold boost for everyone, but, uh, yeah. They, they lose the Aegis and they lose Bignum as well. That's, that's not good. It's not a good trade. They get traded off, but at least they have. Look at this Dirty Raw. He just has a whole stack here prepared for him. Get some easy golden levels coming his way. He's already level 11. Get him Yikes, with ZXC. That already hurts, and he's got a Helm of the Dominator, and he's about to build, he's building a BKB, and he's gonna have that pretty early. But here's the Bloodstone on Leshrac, so... Just finished it up. Uh, what I'm interested is... Took, he opted to take a level of Split Up over a second level of Vault. Interesting. Yeah, maybe he thinks he doesn't have enough uh, mana to really sustain his uh, second level in his ult. Nova. Probably. Oh, but here come three heroes from. Uh, yeah, they the know where Afterlife is. Afterlife, can he TP out in time? The bear is going to see him. There is going to be nope. the roar. Disrupt Ooh. as well. Maybe a little bit of miscommunication here, but Afterlife is still stuck. They are able to get Jester. Get! Is there the ZXC? He's just walking in, trying to kill them off. There is going to be the rocket rush of Dirty Rod doing a lot of damage for his ZXC. Split Earth off the mark. He's going to die here. It is going to be a double himself. kill. He denies himself. Oh, he denies himself. Okay, that's a really good job by him. There, though, but. Ooh, but the Shadow Demon looks like he's in a bit of trouble now. Yeah, he's stuck. He doesn't have enough mana for TP and he's found by Big Nami. He's just gonna kill him. Oh, he denied himself. I. Right. That's good, but still, two for two trade. Uh, oh, and here's Invoker. Ghost Walks. Yeah, there's gonna be the Split Earth after the point. And he's in Ghost Walk, but he still takes the oh, no, full no, damage. No, no. He's walking out. Oh, what the? I think they should have seen this courier. What? Invoker oh survives! Oh my god! They didn't, they didn't even get the courier, what was that? They saw the courier, they could've just, you know, walked there and... You know, chase him down. It's just like, it was so close, one more pulse over, that would've been a dead event. Well, they also did not do that, they're not even gonna get a tier 1 here on bot. Spit Earth off the mark, because he's gonna get disrupted in time. Then strike again, also off the mark, he's being pushed right now. Slow is, is doing a lot, and yeah, he will just nice run Nice nightmare up. though, to save that, so... Yeah. And he'll heal all that back up. Oh my god. And um, Bug denied the top tower. I think they're gonna go for some kind of uh, necro book uh, spread here out of PR. They already have the first one on sunlight. I think uh, Cheshire Cat might be getting another. Dirty Raw is close to his BKB though. Yeah, really close. One question is, when you get it this early, if it goes late, you really have no time left to be in late. Yeah, I mean, that, that's one of the advantages. That's one of the disadvantages of the new BKB. It's like, okay, great. It's If I get it too early, it's it's like you can get it too early. That's the thing. It's like, you've never heard of that before. You can get an item too early. If you get it too early, you waste your 10 second charges. and. Suddenly, late game. If if you do reach the late game, I mean, it can be a big payoff. But if you do reach the late game, what what's going to happen when all the physical damage comes out and all, and you've already got a five second BKB, and people are still going to stun you? And besides, Bane goes through BKB. Remember that as well as Puck. One with Aghanims. Ah, well, sorry, with Aghanims. Puck with Aghanims goes through BKB. Bane goes through BKB. You have to remember that. Well, oh, Limbo. Well, Puck's he's just going to get roared, and he just. Well. Let's just put it this way, Puck is not going to get his high kills anytime soon, so right now they only have to worry about Bane. He does have his blink dagger though, 70 minutes in the game. So. Eh, which is pub timing. Okay. Depends on pub, but I want to say. <laughs> but Let's yeah, just say, okay, not... when I say pub timing, I'm going to assume like 3.5 to 4k. Okay. You know, it's not what he wanted, but yeah, he was on the off lane, and they're going here in. Not to the dirty raw, but he popped this BKB, turned this one around, he gets at least that exceed. After like tries to TP out, but he's not gonna make it. Just right there doing a lot of damage and dirty raw is able to pick him up. Duchy Double is, kill. The Duchy is on an 8 kill streak and has zero deaths. They need to pick this guy off. Yeah, if they kill him, they're gonna get a lot of money. Yeah, but the thing is it's still 8 kills to 1. It will still only be 8 kills to 1. It's He's got so much farm right now. He, he, 
like he's Dago, but uh, well, what's his what's what's that guy? Is? I think it's like uh, I know you, you know Docktails. Yes, of course. You know the really rich guy. They don't. He's got different names in like every different. Yeah, place. in every different language. Um. But anyway, the place. Scrooge met something, I believe in English. Yeah, yeah Scrooge met Duck. Yeah, that's basically, it. Basically, he's basically that guy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's not gonna give any money to his family, so his whole team is gonna be starved. Which Daughter, doesn't seem to be the right, because Sunlight actually is the second in the yeah, farm. Yeah, Sunlight made his own money. Remember that. <laughs> what thing is he then? What's the, uh, what's the other person? Uh, like the rival of Scrooge McDuck? I'm not even sure. I'm ju I just, all I know is that uh, the Yitro is... Uh, uh, Ditcho is taking the... Tolo taking 2-1. Yeah. Yeah, no contest. They don't even, yeah, they're not, they're just trying to defend their middle tower for now. They're just giving up map control all around oh, the map for. Like, Dirty Raw, he's pretty content to stay farming here since they're not rotating in. They have wards if they want to do, and even then, they smoke up the, there are already three heroes trying to spot it out, and they actually count smoke themselves. They're gonna look Yikes. for the bird people on mip. These two are in a very bad position right now. Smoke is gonna be popped so they know he's there. And, oh no, they see him. They want to get ZXC. Oh no, there's going to be actually a pretty timely uh, nightmare. ZXC however is being still slowed by the call down and he's going to die. And That's Afterlife, he's using his ultimate on Dirty Run. That's not a good call here. Limbo, he uses his Dream Call as well, but that's also pretty wasted. There's just two ultimates. Wasted? For what? I know, by tier time. One? The tier 1? Well, they lose the tier 1 anyway, so that was worth it, right? They bought time to get the tier 1 on top, but that's about it. I mean, they probably wouldn't have gotten it anyway, my... Oh, well now, but they're still gonna get, like, I think they're gonna get Cheshire Cat this bit. Yeah, there's gonna be drop. Oh, it's but here they go. Yeah, big name, they don't have anything to stun him, so... Yeah, it doesn't have, he hasn't leveled hope yet. Dirty Raw, he tries to get the... Birds here, but he will just only be able to do... Just... Yeah, there's a Necro book on the Invoker, tell me, what do you think about that? Well, seems to have a Beastmaster? Why not? Just push down. They're already ahead, so you might as well apply more pressure. Not what you usually see, but it definitely is very, it definitely is very handy considering they're currently way ahead. Well, not way ahead, but still they're ahead. 5k network. Uh, it's so 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 they're ahead. So why not? I mean, you already have an excellent split for sure. Why not? I don't you know. make it harder for them. He already got this. Uh, might as well. So we might actually see like a little bit older build, and he will get maybe get a uh, big dagger next. Be like an ultimate threat. Oh, but the invisible puck might actually spot him out here. Thing is, what can he do? Silence him. Well, now there's not going to be him. enough. Yes, cat is there as well. He got his blink. Hope, hope. Oh, well, that that's him. Okay then. So we have a blink first on Tesher cat, and he's going to be building up towards a uh, necro book of himself as well. Thought he might have come for it. For it. That's a good oh, idea. Necro book. That is so annoying. Yeah, especially with the latest upgrades. Like, what you gonna do? Yeah, they're not even yes. gonna get this too. Uh. In fact, they only have... Yeah. yeah. It's one tier one. They want the mid tier one is the most important tier one, though. You have to remember that. It gives the most uh, map control. So it's like, not getting it is pretty important. <laughs> yeah, but... All the time, they're trying to get it, but at the same time, power range is just farming up their jungle. Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, look, Invoker, I'm just going to walk around in your own jungle, and I'm going to use old, but we have foil him. Yeah, J4, he is a little bit caught out. He, well, there's going to be the disruption in time, though, but I think he will still die here. There you go, Soul Assumption. Oh, no, Book actually gets the loose real. Goblock is going to die here. They're going to take away one of his bursts as well. How many ults right? did they use for that, though? I feel like they used, uh, they used one ult, and yeah, they used one ult. They're going to lose. Support, and they're going to lose Rush now. Yard's gonna pick this one fairly easy. I don't think they will contest this with Big Numb together with Go Black on top. And uh, Go Black, that's my bet. And it looks like Gyro's about to finish off his butterfly. Like he's he's only slightly off. That is. He can buy this talisman of evasion now and then at 900. That's 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 actually really scary. Either they don't lose anything for doing uh, rush. Like the tail one. Uh, Tier 2 on top is just being pushed in right now, it's not gonna take a whole lot. Well, Maldic's doing a lot, but. Yeah, yeah it's, he already it's has to. Oh, one here come the TP's, so. On TP though. 
Mate to right uh, to the right it's table. still J4. Yeah, now they've got... Yeah, they've got a four-man rotation going top, so... Yeah, now now, now he tries to uh, finish his butterfly and he just deliver. That is scary, actually. Really scary. Although they it's... don't really have a lot of physical damage yet on the side of Moscow 5, apart from Pro and maybe the birds a little bit, but... Yeah, it's this... like... They already had it. it. Like, like with... the butterfly, yeah. You have the butterfly, you have the... BKB, once those two, once the BKB is swapped, you're pretty much invincible. What else would you finish, like, what would you finish off with? Just some kind of health item? Messiah, build, build the uh, Helm of the Dominator to a Satanic and then... You've got all the health you need and then if, if, if you can do it early enough, you're... Yeah, and even uh, if you get low, like, okay, the tier 2 on top is better. Oh, fine, that, that will just spray this. Oh, actually, I think PR has to defend this because... Without the Necro books here... Uh, they push, actually push faster into the base than Nah, they're gonna call back the Beastmaster. Yeah, uh, Cheshire Cat just throwing out as well, Axis. Zedexi is still hitting the tower. They're gonna get two tier 2 change for the one tier 2 on top. And actually, the tier 3 as well here from Moscow. 5! TP's are too late. They're gonna TP in. Oh, multiple here right now. King R is gonna get disrupted. Call down is used. And he just BKBs off. He wants to get Zedexi before he can do anything. He's just gonna go. He's looking for afterlife now. He walks into the corner, into the fog. He's trying to TP out, but he's not gonna make it. There's gonna be a disruption. Go catch him. He's just gonna die. Oh no! Oh, he's not gonna make it. Oh, so. And that's beyond the light I see. That, 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 this gyrocopter is now officially incredibly scary. They at least got the tier 2 and tier 3, and they start to push. Gar, forcing them back. They did lose ZXC to life forward, but still. I mean, yeah, it's a good trade. It's a tier 2 and a tier 3. Uh, you're forcing them to get the fight again. At least it gives some space for the droid to farm. And he will need it. Only has BKB Desperate. and Yasha so far. Eh. Uh, and he has the lifesteal, but it's like, what can you use that for if the gyro is hitting you like a truck? Yeah, well, get roared. <laughs> this is uh, annoying. One of my. Uh, of your f right, okay. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Stop tingly. I was gone again. Uh, right, Qu so. Quality casting here, man. Yeah, this is. Uh, I think this is PR's game to take. Over 5k heads in both gold and now we're. They're just split pushing on two lanes right now. Well, Big Num is trying to uh, do something on bot. And I don't think he will be in time to take a tower back from. Uh, PR here. Already half HP down on this tier 3. They're gonna go for Dirty Rod, doing a lot of damage to him. And he's actually. Oh, he uses his BKB in last second. That's not worth it at all. Cheshire Cat goes in, blinks in. Roar on Bignum. There's gonna be the Dream Core, as well as the Silence. And they suffered actually no deaths yet on PR's side. They do get off a pretty good uh, ultimate on King R. Two buybacks used now. Go Black, he's taking a lot of damage from. Uh, <clears throat> from the rocket barrage there, Limbo, he goes in, they kill off at least two so far, Cheshire get to well, as the Shadow Demon. As that actually, yeah, he has to walk through this uh, nice ice wall here, it's taking way too long, they won't be able to catch. They smoke up. Yeah, but I don't think they will be able to get Sunlight, Sunlight, he just goes invis and TP's out, and Splinter, if it does oh. hit him, he's dead. Four man wipe, and they pop Aegis, so they, the PR really got overconfident there. They thought, yeah, they can't do anything anymore, but they were completely mistaken. Well, they actually Although, still... free buybacks, free buybacks. Yeah. You have to remember that. Uh, pretty much the exchange and XP was even, but the gold was still heavily in... Uh... Yeah, PR's favor. Yeah. Still, they were four-man wiped. It's not no negligible. Tower is under this was just... <laughs> oh, and just look Bravo, at Gyro farming up those angels. Oh my god. No way to uh, to stop them. So, uh, on what did they get in return for that? I mean, they force out free buybacks, but all they get is a tier three. They don't even take racks. It's like uh, could have they... done better. Could have done better. Just even out the score, but use four buybacks to defend that. But the next fight, you're gonna be behind essentially those four things. Oh uh, yeah, here's the satanic, and here's the satanic, so... Yikes. Gyro, if Gyro gets that low again, he'll just press the satanic, but... Then I don't think you'll be able to... ...stuff them to kill him down. Like, they really have to stun lock him, and then they're just forcing all the stuns on him and not on everyone else. Like, uh... 
So we're going to pop Bane ulti on him, and then when that's over, we need to like Shrug stun him. And if he's not dead by then, we still need to do something. But if he pops Satanic, what do we do then? It's like, uh, great. Yeah, the, once he pops Satanic, then they need to lock him down. But if they do it before that, then he's five oh, yeah. You, you just lost your fuck. Hey, he, all he has to do is press E as well. E and Satanic button, and that's it. I think um, PR might just wait for the next. I'm pretty sure if they try to force fight without. Dash has a solo crest now. Ooh. Ooh, dear. That's pretty good. I mean, that negates. Um, that's only negates Gyrocopter a bit. Uh, Means he won't be able to do as much. He also has his uh, Eganims, he's actually pretty farmed. Pretty interesting. The actually third on the side of the five in terms of farm. And he's not far behind the Shrak. Oh, it's just... Yes. Hey, he also finished up his level 3 Necrobook already now. Oh, he's gonna start split pushing. Um, this he will most likely get his BOTs next. That Sergeant Yashon is giving her like 300 damage. Oh my god. That's with Marksman. Yeah, level 16 Marksman. He's got. Oh, Cheshire Cat, he's able to blink out in time. He's getting it. So it's not going to be easy to split much of that. Especially because Dro can. If he, if he pops silence first, then Cheshire Cat, what can he do? Hope that he can blink out in time. Yeah, what if he's getting completely stunned there, uh, slow locked? Yeah, well he still has his roar, so... Get out if it... Oh, he might get out. It's gonna be tough. Very tough. But here's Invoker. Uh, just look at this, he's also got his uh, Necrobox. And he's gonna be sp split pushing top. Okay, he built up a... Uh, four step instead of the... Negative. Also more mobility. More annoying to catch with... For, uh, pushing. Funny thing, it's like Go Black is <laughs> using his Solar Crest of Armor Pageant switch. Okay, you can do that if you want to. Usually I would reserve agents for the carry at this point, but yeah, I'm currently doing something else. What, what do you think the Shark's gonna build into next? He has a ring of protection for some reason, but... Yeah, this is the beginning for... Basilius. So this into Vlad? Oh, Basilius into Soul Ring. He's, uh, this... Used this for Soul Ring, the Sage Mass, and he just kept the, uh, ring of protection. Okay. Oh, it looks like they're gonna find... Are they gonna find Cheshire Cat? No, he's gonna get off. Well, they're actually rotating in three heroes now. They see Go Black, they see each other actually. Oh, there you go, that's gonna be the four stuff forward. The purge as well. Go Black tries to TP out, but he's not gonna make this in time. There you go, he is dead. TP4 from Chester K. I mean, blink, uh, roar onto F5, and he's gonna die as well. And both kills going to Gyro again. Gyro's having a good old time. 13 <laughs> 0 4. I'll take it in them. With 4,000 gold saved up, what do you think his next item is going to be? I don't know, he could build anything at this point. Yeah, um, maybe Chrysalis is fun. It's always fun to see Chris flying around. Yeah, well, uh, oh, <laughs> shit! That. He got all of the, uh, the birds. Oh my That's god. Why can't I even look at that? How and, he and the, the fun is, even when uh, Goblet gets back, he still can summon his birds for another 40 seconds. Oh, that, that's horrible. Now they're just gonna look at Rush, take it, and uh, maybe end the game. Buybacks will be back if they have enough money of five. Next one. Yeah, let's see this. Yeah, they're gonna take Rush easily. Where's the arm reduction? No reduction. Do they need the arm reduction? Uh, they, they, just, they, they just put it on Gyro. <laughs> Uh, oh, they have a solar crystal as well now, which is uh... Yeah, J4 bot made it. Here's a strong icon on the desert. There you go. And who will pick up the cheese? Fight for the cheese, won by sunlight.
I'm guessing Gyro's just saving up for buybacks with that high amount of gold. That's the only thing I can think of right now, because uh, he... He has the Aegis, like so he doesn't have to... And also, Got by two. not showing your next item, you... ...and five to guess how much money you have. But I think he will be building an MK. That's pretty obvious. It's a good damage item, and it definitely delivers against if uh, Dro does decide to build a butterfly eventually. He has it, actually. Demon Edge. Pretty casual. Oh, actually, Demon Edge is worth his money in uh, out of time there from Pobla. actually worth his money because of the damage. It's pretty fun to see. Like one of the only items with that much gold that's actually worth its stats person. You know what? But the thing is, the Demon Edge, he could build it to an MKB, but he could also just have fun and build it into the Daedalus. Fine? No, 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 a, da a Daedalus. Like, Divine one. If you right. build it into a divine, it's like suicide rush. I guess, but it's like suddenly the, the the entire game shifts from let's try and defend the base to kill the fucking gyro so we can pick up the divine. You got an Aegis, so why not? I guess. You wanna end the game? Get the divine, man. End with a spell. It's just you know, it's like uh, my philosophy is you only build divine if you're actually losing and you think it's good enough to build a comeback item. But here we go. Invoker just picked up an Ocarine core, which is amazing. Oh no, Cheshire Cat, he's found, he's gonna die. But they're gonna at least get the tier 3 here. They're missing the Divine on Dirty Rod to really do the damage, but this will be f uh, more than enough for now. Uh, My philosophy, by the way, on the Divine Rapiers is just always get it, always get it, lose it, and give it to me. You're fun. It's fun, fun for me, though. That is feeble, though. <laughs> Yeah, but still, it's doing a lot of damage. That's why I need to define. Did you what? To do even more damage? It's like, yes. is it worth it? Oh, they just knife it. Oh, there you go. Big Nom, he's stuck in the base here. He doesn't really have a mobility item to get out, so he's just gonna get roared and killed. But at the same time, Midra is going after Middle After Life is dead. Dead Ixie, he pops his, uh, his BKB. He's trying to fight up, but there's gonna be the cheese eaten by sunlight. Someone's taking a lot of damage. He might actually just die here if he can't run out. Big Nam is trying to find him, but no, he's just gonna go in. His dirty Rod is now all alone. He still has the egg, so he will just try and fight up. There's a Lotus or though on Big Nam, but what doesn't matter is his dirty Rod really doesn't have any point click abilities that he can <laughs> use. Did you just see that satanic though? Yeah. I don't know. Sunlight showed himself. EMP on the ground. Limbo is able to go forward though. Let's just look at the gyro fighting up here. He wants to get this ranged Rex. Well, actually, he wants Big Nom, and he's gonna get him. There's a GG call by him. Yeah, if Gyro would have died there, it probably would have been the other way around. They might have tried and go for the GG push, but there we go. And PR thing this game. Well, yeah, yeah, this is. Uh, yeah, they're just 3 to 0. They won this group fairly convincing. That's and Moscow 5. Uh, yeah. Let's go fight for his surprise game. is order for both the winner of that one. Will we'll be our last match after that. Guys, for the giveaway, just follow our channel. And uh, after the match, I will straight draw somebody. Tell everybody on the. I will give it my. Uh, I think that's it. Morality, anything you have to say? Uh, not really, but next match will be a close one, so please stay tuned.